Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, February the 5th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and Mark chapter 9, verse 2 to 13. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of New Britain. You made the ebbing channel dry While Israel passed the flood There did the church begin their joy And triumph in their God O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia, Psalm 74. And please recite it together with me. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people, which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations, and they set up their incense as signs of victory. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, let us destroy them and they have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs, there is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth you have made summer and winter. You remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked. Forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let not the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all the day long. And forget not the voice of your enemies, the tumult of those that rise against you it continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning in verse 27. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciples, who do the people say I am? 
And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say I am? And Peter answered, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. And then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known in all the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.